This is now Thule. She's still looking for her home. She's mostly Lhasa. Pretty sure she's got Jack in her, but she really has that Lhasa look. This is Belle. She's been adopted already. And if y'all remember how these dogs acted at the shelter, I mean, they're like totally different dogs now. And apparently the two girls here are good around chickens. We just had them out in the yard loose. And they didn't bother the chickens. They just ran around, did their thing. They love running in the woods. And they come back to me. Sometimes I have to say it a few times, but they do come back. Um, they both smile. They get super excited and they smile. Yeah. And then the, this little man right here, this little old gentleman. Yeah, this is Jethro. He's available for adoption. He will not be good with chickens. <laughs> I had to call him off several times, which being mostly Jack Russell, doesn't surprise me. Some leave chickens alone and just go after rodents and stuff. Uh, but he seemed to leave the cats alone. But chickens were just too much of a temptation. But he is such a good boy. He has issues either with his back or his hip. We think he's five, judging from his teeth. But he could be older. Yeah, he's easy. And he is probably the daddy to several of the ones in the group. There was nine in the group. We brought four back. Uh, the other one has been adopted. And uh, I wish I could have brought more back, but without having a place for them to go, I couldn't. And then it was already pretty tight in our vehicle and trailer that we brought. But it, it's amazing. This is the one that was super matted in the pictures. Like you could see her legs were just humongous cast. I'm glad we could at least save a cute little face. Yeah. And I didn't have my own equipment up there. Um, I had a friend of mine's and she's got to get a bunch of her stuff sharpened. Um, mm -hmm. So the blades worked okay, but uh, the shears and stuff were pretty dull so i think we did a pretty good job with what we had to work with yes you're such a good girl so we named her tule uh for those who don't know um in otero county in new mexico there is a town called tularosa and people call it tule for short so she is tule bell is named bell because her new owners saw a picture and decided that was her name so she's going to get spayed while she's down here. And we're just working on finalizing transport up north for her. Um, and these others can get spayed down here if they go to uh, rescues up north. Um, at the rescue's expense, our vet does accept cards over the phone. That is really the easiest. Um, and then with the transport paper, we can send receipts. What are y'all doing? What did you find? What's got you all excited? No, that's hairspray. That's hairspray. I'm a groomer. Some of you dogs require hairspray. Come here. No. Okay. So she likes hairspray. Uh, so groomers, uh, maybe this little girl <laughs> will end up being a good contest dog for you. And although she's not white, she is light colored enough. You could definitely do creative grooms with her. What are you doing? <laughs> you are so crazy. But uh, the vet in Alamogordo agreed that she was likely three years old. And he also does agree that he's probably five. Um, you see he's got a tear in his ear. Uh, and then he's got, you know, a healing spot where the tooth went right there. Uh, he does have an ear infection in one ear. Uh, several of these dogs had little bite marks on their ears, and they do act like they've been inside before. There you go. You want the backdrop? Oh, is that comfy? Oh, it's so comfy. They do act like, can you see how he lays with his feet? Sometimes he knuckles his toes over. Sometimes he crosses his legs. Uh, it could be a herniated disc. This may not be his hip at all. Uh, there's no telling, especially... You know, he could have been grabbed and swung, and it could have messed up his back a little bit. There's 
no telling. I mean, this guy had to give up his dogs because he had really bad cancer and could not take care of them. Um, and obviously hadn't took care of them in a while. But we don't know if they were inside and then got put outside. We do know that most of these guys were trapped and brought into the shelter that way. Uh, if you saw any of the pictures or videos that I took before, you could hear all the barking and the backing up uh, and how scared they were. But these guys pretty much came out of their shell, shell within a day or two of being out of the shelter. I'm going to have to fix my whole backdrop up again, dude. Yeah. What are we, what are you doing, Jethro? Yeah, you're such a good boy. He had a scab on his nose, too, and that is all healed up already. And he's growing some baby hairs back there. Are you smiling, Belle? Belle, are you smiling? With your smiley face, oh, Belle, are you smiling? Yes. <laughs> You are. But anyways, I wanted to share this video with you guys because these guys have come so far. And you know who's available. So she's available. <laughs> He's available. Yes, I know. Oh, I know. Yeah, oh, you're smiling, Big Bell. And she's been adopted. Just going to take a little bit to get all the surgery stuff done and transport arranged and all that stuff. Are you smiling? Hello, Jethro. You know your name now, don't you? They learn their names so quick. Yes. Mm -hmm. He likes to talk a lot. She likes to dig into your leg. She gets excited, rears up on you, and just paws and digs hard to make sure you're giving her attention. And as you can see, when I did her face, she actually let me shave her lips, which just... Shows off that black pigment and just makes an even cuter face. Um, most of our pet dogs, or a lot of our pet dogs, don't say most, a lot of our pet dogs that we groom will not let us do that. And um, some of them we, we try to get in there with a little scissor or thinner. Sometimes they tolerate that. Sometimes we can't do it at all. We just have to leave it make the face as cute as possible without it. But she let me. But she will basically be like a, I guess, a better built Lhasa in a sense. She's got straight legs, not crooked legs like a lot of Lhasas have. Um, and that may be because she may actually have some of the Jack Russell in her. But she's basically going to look like just a big Lhasa. Um, which if you're not familiar with that breed, uh, they kind of favor Shizu's. Um, another breed she could be, um, if she is full-blooded, would be a Tibetan Terrier, but I highly doubt that. Either way, both of those breeds are from Tibet, and either way, she's going to be an awesome dog. She's going to be a fun dog for somebody. I have not worked with them much on leash right now because, as y'all know, I have a whole bunch of dogs. Can I have that? That is no, 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 no. Come here, I need that. That's my ear powder bottle. Look at her. She's so silly. Come here. I can't help but laugh because these dogs have come so far. And you will have to work with Thule on staying off of the kitchen table. Yes. So I like to hop on anything. I will hop on the couch, which is fine. I will hop on the bed, which is fine. I will hop on stools and chairs. And if there's tables or coffee tables, I like to hop up there too. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Yeah, you gonna talk to me? You gonna talk to me? Yes. Oh, babies. Yeah, but this is the New Mexico three. Thank <laughs> you.